10th of 2020, a video surfaced hey, me, of YouTuber Amy Ramadan of the Amy's Life Journey YouTube channel striking her young child off camera. The video in question is over a year old, being uploaded on October 23rd of 2018, in celebration of reaching 600 subscribers. I'm now going to play the clip. While the event in question takes place off-screen, some viewers may find the audio alone disturbing. Yes. Um, anyways, I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the support that you guys give me. This is Holy an amazing woman. opportunity that you guys have also helped me reach. And that... Good face. You do not scream like that! You go out right out! No, ma'am! The child was obviously hurting or something. What a horrible mother. It's important to note that spanking your children is not necessarily illegal in the United States. Corporal punishment is by all accounts ineffective and counterproductive, but it is not illegal so and long as the punishment is considered by the courts to be reasonable and doesn't cause physical injury. As this event occurs off screen and occurred well over a year ago, we because cannot I know if the child was injured. I have a policy not to show children in my videos in most cases. Even if their parents don't respect their right to privacy, I do. What I can tell you, and what you can easily verify for yourself with a bit of cursory research, is that this child is barely more than a baby at the time of her recording this video. She has yet to learn how to speak, and therefore cannot properly express her feelings. Even if you are an advocate or indifferent to corporal punishment, no sane person would strike such a small child. I'm going to play the clip again, this time with a broader context, and I will stop from time to time to give my own comments. I wanted to thank you guys so much, every one of you that have brought me to 600 subscribers. I am so ecstatic. I am so happy. You guys have no idea. When I seen that I am at 600 subscribers, I was like, oh, something is going Damn. well. <laughs> something that should be understood about Amy and something I will talk about later in this video is that she has a desperate need for attention and validation. The desire for attention and validation isn't out of the norm for avid users of social media. Oh, does like that remind you of? The well-being of their families first, and certainly don't resort to violence against their children when they're interrupted. And it just made my heart skip a beat and me sing a song because I am so happy to see my channel growing. Because not only is it you guys that are making this happen, but this is also your guys' channel. And that's why I get so excited because I know that you guys are getting to meet new people just like I am. So anyways, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all of the support, encouragement, excuse her. Um, she is not the support I need right now. To me, that statement is just as insidious as what we know follows. Mm -hmm. She is not the support I need right now. Mm -hmm. This is a 37 year old woman who is upset that her daughter, her barely two year old daughter, who clearly sounds distressed, is not supporting her futile vlogging efforts. She becomes irrationally angry that her child isn't suppressing the raw emotion that children have no control over so she can disingenuously smile for her meager 600 subscribers. But, um, anyways, I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the support yeah, got you guys give me. This is an amazing opportunity that you guys have also helped me reach. And that... I'll play that again in slow motion. Watch how quickly she goes from smiling and happy to a cold rage. Yep. Her child comes to the room, seeking comfort from her mother. Instead, she's greeted by the door opening, being smacked, very hard from the sound of it, and then pushed out of the room. Yeah. Amy then shuts the door so she can continue to film a thank you to her supporters. Now we see a video transition. Amy is out of breath from the physical effort of hitting her child, and what she is saying is almost verbatim how the previous clip began. That is because she tried to do a retake and edit out the portion where she hit the child. However, Amy is lazy and incompetent. And I just want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for helping me reach 600 subscribers. Without you, this would have never happened. Out of breath, yeah. And I get so excited. My heart, <laughs> my heart skips a beat and I sing a song when I'm seeing these numbers keep going up and up and hmm. up. A thank you to user XL Coffin who found this clip and the rest of the good people over at Kiwi Farms for archiving her entire channel and continuing to comb through it. 
You can't hide any of this, Amy. You can try to delete it all, but I can promise you that the internet never forgets. At the time of writing this video, the clip I just showed you is the only one that has been discovered where Amy can be heard actually hitting her children. However, there is another clip, also provided by XL Coffin, from the same time period where she threatens to strike her children with a wooden spoon. Yes, she does. Do and she does do it. She has to. I don't it. want to get on a plane where I have to have the caffeine because that's not how I've ever ran my body. Like, I've oh. never gotten attached to something where my body Except has to have it in order to, like, function or whatever it might be. Junk food, so, maybe. I don't know what I'm going to do. I told Ollie that I was thinking I might just go ahead and go through the withdrawal caffeine. What, honey? What? Huh? Okay. Do you know what, as well, Amy's children on uh, TV farms, they, you know, they used to say feral children. And the reason for that, you know, their speech being delayed, etc., was no interaction with their mother. She didn't bother with them. Um, she was constantly on social media media when she wasn't filming she was over on rosie o'kelly's and other other chats she was all over the place trying to spin and weave and get subscribers for her channel that was all she was interested in and her merch hold on okay um i'm gonna have to so Okay, um, so I'm wondering if I might have to go through, like, the withdrawal headaches to get it back out of my system again. Uh-uh, no. Okay, Omar, do I need to get the spoon? I can even reach him. Okay, then you need to stop. I carry this with me everywhere I go. Do I ever use it? Nope. Do I threaten it? Yeah. <laughs> All they have to do is see me put my hand up there and they're like, no, 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 no. I'm like, well, then. The way she brags and laughs about intimidating her small children with the threat of physical violence is quite sickening. She might say that she never has to use it, but that is only because she has absolutely used it in the past. Children do not have an inborn fear of wooden spoons. If you find yourself thinking that this is no big deal, I would implore you to consider the age of these small children, two and three, and to read the list of articles I will link in the description of people being arrested and charged with various forms of child abuse for using a wooden spoon to strike them. You can also Google spanking with a wooden spoon and select the news tab, but for various reasons I won't get into, do not accidentally click the images tab. Something that needs to be understood about this woman is that she is a perpetual victim. Let us go back to that video where she hit her child off screen. Listen to what she has to say about leaving mean comments on the internet. Sometimes support encouragement doesn't come off as the most nicest thing, but sometimes it's the truth. And that's why I said, don't ever be afraid to bring something to my attention, whether you think it might be a rude comment. I still take every comment that is given to me as a learning topic of some sort and I use everything and put it into aspect and maybe there's some things that don't fit with my timeline of where I'm at in life and that's okay not everybody is going to have the same thoughts but we all are open and allowed to say whatever we want on this channel as long as we're being encouragement encouraging and supporting each other and you know being careful to one another's feelings because I would never want somebody to be hurt by somebody else's comments nor do I want to be hurt by somebody else's comments. And so far, I have never received that because, again, all of you guys are amazing. Keep in mind, she plans on editing out the portion of the video where she hits her baby. Mm. That should tell you everything you need to know about how disingenuous and narcissistic this woman is. Absolutely. Minutes after physically dominating a helpless child, she's imploring people to be kind to her. <laughs> There's only one thing that is important to Amy in her life, Amy. and that is herself. For even further proof, 
Let's take a step a few days further into the past where she posts this to her Facebook page. If you're already feeling heated, you might want to take a breather before we continue. Please ask how can a person reads, abuse a child? I wish there was a pill I could take to make me forget all the past memories and all the people that are in my past. Sad face. Feeling depressed. The image she posted reads, People ask, how can a person, person abuse, abuse a, child? a child? I ask, how can so many, quote, good people not do anything about it? Be careful what you wish for when you're sad posting for attention on Facebook, Amy. Amy has been incredibly public about her past alleged abuse by her own mother, as well as pretty much every other member of her family. On the day she made this... And yes, you know, her mother visited her and she had her mother on one of her videos. Um, they seem to have a reasonable relationship. I don't know, I'm not saying there wasn't abuse there, but who can say, you know? Facebook post, she shared a story of her alleged molestation, and in other videos, she's talked about being physically abused as well. I'm not going to give her the pleasure of airing her stories in this video. If I ever do, and I do promise to make a more extensive video on this woman in the very near future, it will be to point out all the massive holes, inconsistencies, and flat-out lies in her stories. Yeah. Suffice it to say, I wholeheartedly believe all of this is for attention, and I don't believe a single word she says. Let us not forget how easily she wears her mask. If it were genuine, there's no way she could treat her own children the way she does. Just like a if it were genuine, person we it know. wouldn't matter in the face of what she's done. Amy made a video addressing the enormous amount of backlash and criticism she has received since these videos have surfaced. Uploaded February 12th of 2020 and... I will say also that I um, went onto a Amy's comments often until she blocked me. Um, regarding the way she treated her children. She didn't like it, obviously. Um, but I recognised even before her 600 subscribers just how false and what a terrible darn mother this woman is. Initially titled Abuse Slash Weigh In, now changed to simply Weigh In. If you had any doubt that she was a god-awful parent, that this was perhaps a one-off situation, her response should snuff out any lingering sympathy even the most generous amongst you may have. This will be the one and only time that I talk about this, and I will never speak upon this again, because I really don't feel I should even have to speak upon it at all. Arrogance. Because I don't owe an explanation to anybody for how I raise my children. The way that I choose to raise my children, that is my choice. I don't go into your home. I don't tell you how you raise Not your children. Not if you abuse right them. The bat, I can tell you this boomer bullshit pisses me off. The way you raise your children is not solely your choice. No. They are not your property. They have there are strict laws in place to protect them, as I imagine she is soon going to find out. But what I don't understand is how somebody can go from punishing their child to being called an abuser when... Punishing their for child one, for crying, for being in no distress. There's video showing physical harm being done to a child to, one, be even accused of that two to even have it being talked about let me reiterate this clip is of her smacking a child that cannot even form words yet you do not scream like that you go out right out no ma'am awful I have heard everything from I beat my daughter in the face, I beat my daughter uh, on the hand. I mean, nobody, there are so many stories and accusations going out there that now it's just become, it, honest to God, has come to be funny to me. Oh. Allegations of child abuse. Classic comedy. I'm sure you can oh. explain away everyone's fears, Amy. Please, enlighten us. And the, what even is even more sad is that this video was a year ago. Like, that if you guys sad? honestly think about it, whoever started this whole thing literally had to dig deep, deep down to find a video of me supposedly beating my child and put it up as a uh, as a video that I just put up today. Well, that happens God on YouTube. You, XL Coffin. God bless you, Kiwi Farms. 
I hope I'm not losing the crowd here. I hope people aren't convinced that this video is no big deal because it occurred a year ago when her young child was even younger. I'm no expert, but I get the feeling Amy is digging her hole even deeper here. Yeah. I don't want you to fear to take care of my children. If I see fit that I need to raise my voice at my child, you're darn right I will raise my voice at my child. Wasn't your voice, it was your hand and am your I spoon. Am I going to demeanor them and am I going to lower their self-esteem? Absolutely not. Do I call them names? Absolutely not. As morbid as it is, you've got to love the smug way she butchers basic English. Beating children is, after all, an indication of a very low IQ. If I have to get up and I have to place a pat on the butt to show them, hey, mom's serious, absolutely. Yeah, a pat on the butt. That was on bare skin. You do not scream like that. You go out right out, no ma'am. Probably on the face because the baby would have been wearing a nappy or diaper. Hope you really taught that baby that mom is serious about seeking attention over being a loving parent. Even if I did spank her more than one tap, <laughs> that is my choice. That is my prerogative. No. That is my choice. No. I am her mother. Nobody else but me. Ah, the classic. I didn't beat my children, but if I want to, it's I my can. choice. Yeah. Again, kids are not proper. No, you can't. Not in the West, at least. I am very aware of the video going around. I've seen it, like I said. I made the video. Did I mean to leave that part in the video? No. But was I afraid to leave that part in the video? No. no I yeah. didn't do anything wrong. I'm not ashamed of it. Really? Oh, yeah? Then where's the video, Amy? Yeah, you where's it gone? Anyone. Video unavailable. Yourself. And here's the thing. I have had multiple people say, and I've even had phone calls made to me, that people are turning me into CPS. I am not walking in fear with CPS. I have already done my part, which is I already have a case with my police department. They already know what's going on on my side with YouTube. And they have already seen the video on my side. And the police officer even said to me, as it already is, there's nothing to worry about. He said, there's nothing wrong in this video. So I'm not sitting here in fear wondering if the state's going to come out or not. If they come out, I already have my case number, and she'll contact the police the police officer that I already contacted, and it will all be taken care Why of. Why are you making such a big deal She's about lying. it now, then? 100% liar. a shadow of a doubt, she is lying. Of course, it all comes around to Amy being the perpetual victim. She actually can't comprehend how anyone could care about anything more than her little charade. But I can't control what you do. But again, I can control what I do on my channel. And that is, I'm not going to continue this drama. Because it's tiring. Not only is it tiring, but it's taking my vision away from what I'm working on. And that's my health. My health comes before any of this garbage. And you guys, the ones that are bringing up all this drama, all you guys are trying to do is get my eyes off of my my journey and my goal and put it on Amy's something else so journey. I match my goal. Mm. And you guys are trying to make me stumble so I don't get what I'm trying Poor to do. Poor Amy. Just lose my weight and get healthy. You would rather keep me stuck over here in the dark side Poor focusing Amy. on things that I don't need to even focus on. And guess what? It's not going to happen. I'm going to cut the video off here. I think it's important to keep this video short and so, to the point. So, thanks to Tove McKinley for this. this He's wonderful. I hope he comes back. Home. But among other things, Amy has recorded her children using the bathroom and put it on video, recorded her children naked. Her yep. oldest child that she adopted has never officially been adopted and is living in the no. U.S. without having been given no papers. rightful status as a citizen because she just can't be bothered to fill out the paperwork. She has an emotional support skunk. She and her husband threaten to sue people that call her out, and they may or may not have swatted someone. I swatted I will Pam. cover all of this I in believe. a video sometime next month. Amy, I know you're watching this, and I welcome you and your pathetic simp of a husband to try and take any legal action against me. I will record all of it and upload it to this channel. To be clear, 
I don't want this woman's children taken away, but I do want the point driven home that she needs to change her ways before it's too late for her children and the damage done is irreparable. Well, we'll I'm going to link know, her cutie no. farms thread in the description, but before you go, you need to understand that it is not a place to gnash your teeth in rage. It is not a place to make plans to troll, flag, or call the authorities. It's a place for documentation and discussion. If you think there's a need for legal action, contact a moderator, which in this case has been done more than enough times. I will also post a link that provides general rules and an introduction to the culture of the site that you should absolutely read before you decide to go any further. Thanks for watching. I'll thanks try to make the next video less depressing. Thank and of you. course, a huge thanks to all my patrons and everyone else who has supported the channel in any way.